Welcome to my video. I'm going to teach you how to solve limits that go to infinity. And limits to infinity are just one of many different types of limit problems. I do have a few other videos such as solving limits by factoring and one-sided limits uh, that are different types of limit problems. Um, so if you haven't seen those videos, um, I suggest you uh, watch those as well. <clears throat> so let's get started with limits to infinity. And there's three different examples uh, with limits to infinity. And the first example is when the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator. And notice uh, the first example is like that. I wrote that for you in blue um, on the first line on the left hand side. Um, and this is when the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator. What that means is the degree of the numerator is 2 because the largest exponent is 2 and the degree of the, nom uh, the denominator is 3. Uh, because the largest exponent um, is 3. Um, so notice, since 3 is greater than 2, the degree of the numerator is less uh, than the degree um, of the denominator. Um, and whenever this happens, the limit as x approaches positive or negative infinity, it doesn't matter, that's why I wrote a positive and a negative in front of the infinity, the limit as x approaches positive or negative infinity is always going to equal 0. And once again, this is only when the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator. All right, so let's move on to our second example. Um, this is when the degree of the numerator is the same as the degree of the denominator. Okay, um, and notice how in the numerator we have a f the largest exponent is five, um, so the numerator has a degree of five, and in the, de in the denominator the largest exponent um, is also a 5. Um, so notice how the degrees um, in the numerator and, de and the denominator are the same. So whenever the degree of the numerator and the denominator are the same, the limit as x approaches positive or negative infinity, it doesn't matter, is always equal to the constants in front of the x. Um, so notice uh, in, in front of the x to the fifth power we have a negative 3 constant and in front of the x to the fifth in the denominator we have a 7 so the limit as x approaches positive or negative infinity of this function is just negative 3 over 7 and once again this is only when the degree of the numerator is the same as the degree um, in the denominator. So let's move on to our last example. This is when the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator. Uh, notice how we have a largest exponent of 3, so we have a degree of 3 in the numerator, and our largest exponent in the denominator is 2, uh, so we have a degree of 2 in the denominator. So the degree of the numerator is greater. Uh, whenever this happens, in this particular case, the limit as x approaches positive or negative infinity always does not exist. And sometimes your teacher does not want you to give the answer in the form of does not exist. So if you're not allowed uh, to give an answer that says does not exist, um, the answer is always going to be positive or negative infinity. And I'm going to show you algebraically um, how to solve this type of problem and find out whether it's positive or negative infinity. So I'm going to solve this just right below. So let's just say it's the limit as x approaches negative infinity of x cubed minus 2x divided by 4x squared plus 1. The only thing you need to do to solve these problems is plug and chug. Uh, so I'm going to plug a negative infinity everywhere where there's an x. So notice how I put a parentheses everywhere where there's an x, and I'm going to plug a negative infinity every place where there was an x. Now I'm going to simplify this. a negative infinity cubed stays negative. Negative 2 times negative infinity, we have a negative times a negative, becomes a positive 2 infinity. 
and any time you square a negative number it becomes positive so negative infinity squared becomes positive infinity squared and we can't about can't, and we can't forget the 4 in front of it plus 1 so here's the tricky part uh, let's just look at the numerator in the numerator we have a infinity cubed and we have an infinity um, infinity is so much less than infinity cubed or in other words infinity cubed is just so so much bigger than infinity uh, that the infinity becomes insignificant um, so the infinity term is so ins insignificant uh, we can just cross it out just because infinity cubed is just so much bigger so what I did was I just crossed out the infinity term just because infinity cubed is so much more powerful than infinity it's so much bigger that the infinity term just becomes insignificant now let's look at the denominator we have a infinity squared term and a constant of one and the infinity squared term is just so much bigger than one that the positive one just becomes insignificant and we can cross that out and once again the infinity squared is just such a bigger term than the constant one that the one becomes insignificant and we can just cross it out so this can be simplified to negative infinity cubed over four times infinity squared so this can be simplified even further since we're dividing we can just subtract exponents um, infinity cubed has a three exponent and the infinity squared has a two exponent so three minus two is one um, so that can just become infinity to the one exponent which you don't need to write and we're left with the four on the bottom so now we have negative infinity divided by four infinity is so much bigger than four and it's such more so much more powerful uh, that the four becomes insignificant so you can just cross the four out and then our final answer is equal to negative infinity so I hope this helped you understand solving limits to infinity a little bit better if you like the way I teach uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel also too if you need any extra help uh, with live tutoring or homework solutions uh, please visit my website at mathmeeting.com uh, once again mathmeeting.com um, in the meantime I hope you uh, enjoyed this video and take care